One of the things that's really important in Sea of Thieves is that there's a kind of all these emergent possibilities for the crew to go on. So there was a bunch of different kind of gameplay mechanics that we chose to do that. Um, one of them was the Barrels of Plenty, which are these kind of floating barrels that pop up from the ocean that you can choose to either carry on past them or jump off and go and forage for resources. And the shipwrecks was obviously a huge part as well because we hide treasure in them and they're, they're so kind of valuable to the crew. It's kind of a good thing that steers you off course. So you could be on the voyage with your, with your crew and then all of a sudden somebody in the crow's nest spots like a flock of seagulls over there. And then you've got to make that decision as a crew whether you stick with the voyage or whether you veer off course and actually go towards and find out and discover what this thing that the seagulls are flocking around is. And then it comes this interesting dynamic where do we all kind of jump overboard and um, swim down to the shipwreck or do we have a split in the crew where some people go back to protect any chest they have on board whilst the rest of them kind of dive down to the shipwreck and explore it. But I find that like the essence of Sea of Thieves because you've got to collectively make that decision to either all of you go down and get the treasure in possibly the quickest amount of time possible or you take a risk where it's there's the potential for another crew to come and sink your ship steal your ship take the loot from your ship or just hide on your ship and wait for you to yeah. come back as well <laughs> even better hide in the lower decks yeah. let them come back on suspecting nothing and then kill them all yeah whilst they're putting the shipwreck chest back on the ship as well. <laughs> my favorite tactic yeah. <laughs> So as well as the chests that we've kind of hidden on the shipwrecks, we wanted to have a bunch of barrels um, on there as well for players to forage for resources. So even if a crew had kind of got there first and stolen the chest, there was still a reason for players to kind of go down there and explore the shipwrecks. And we added the floating resources as well, like the bananas and planks and things, because it kind of gives a sense that it's an actual shipwreck. Yeah, I think that, that was like a really cool point, actually. It suddenly felt like this was a ship that had just been battered in, in a battle, and then you were kind of swimming through the remains of it. So we didn't want the kind of threat to just be running out of oxygen underwater. Um, we wanted to be like a consistent threat in the world uh, when swimming, which is where the sharks came from. Yeah, so we ended up writing some stuff that meant that the shark AI can figure out when you were in a shipwreck and when you when it detects that it circles the shipwreck waiting for you to come out again. So you get these awesome moments where you kind of just above the map table looking to see where the shark is that's circling the shipwreck and then you can choose your moment to basically dart out of the um, out of the hole and like swim back to the surface with the chest. So I actually think the drowning is scarier because of the audio. The audio is superb. It actually makes me feel like I'm drowning and yeah. it's absolutely terrifying. There was a bunch of different feedback that we went through to get there. Like at first it was just the health bar was chipping down and that didn't really add to that panic other than I'm, I'm gonna die shortly. But then we started adding in like a kind of black like vignette into the thing that made it feel like you were starting to pass out. And then like you said, we added in the kind of audio effects as well. And that was kind of like, <laughs> So while uh, shipwrecks, I mean, can seem conceptually simple, they offer such a vast array of scenarios that can actually happen in the game. It's they're a spectacularly good feature to have, even though they might be quite technically challenging to put in. Yeah, and the more kind of emergent mechanics that we can add into the game gives more reasons for the players to kind of go off the beaten track and discover these new features.